Hello quilters. So today I am working on machine quilting a quilt using my Indigo Garden Fabric line and I thought it might be fun to sort of take you along as I work on the project. It's a design that I've made three or four times and every time I show it at trunk shows I often get asked about the machine quilting designs. It has a lot of negative space so it's really fun to do, really fun to be creative with. You can see I've got a center band going here for a feather. So I'm going to show you how I do that feather. I'm going to show you how I fill in the center with doing some freehand flowers and then a background filler. So I thought it might just be fun to share. Um, I think people are often intimidated by machine quilting and if they can see it broken down step by step, it makes it more manageable and hopefully you will think, oh, I want to try it or I think I can do that too. So follow along. Okay, so let's start with the feather on the bottom. As you can see, I've already done the center channel. I did that freehand and I just kind of curved it in and out where each of these cream triangles go up. And now I'm gonna do the base of the feather. So I'm just gonna do the top little fingers of the feather going across the top of the line, then I'm gonna come and do it along the bottom. And then I'm gonna start embellishing from there. So just think of it as, you know, if you can do the base feather that I show, you can easily add some of those embellishments if you want to. So um, like I said, I'm gonna try to do this uh, one-handed, so hopefully I'm able to do that. So there I just did the base of the feather. Now I'm gonna start embellishing with a little center detail. And there I ran out of bobbin. But you can see, let's go around here. You can see I've added just this little extra loop on Okay, so now you can see I've gone and added the little feather detail along the bottom. And so there's my completed feather. And I would normally go ahead and do it the whole way on the quilt, but I just didn't want you to have to sit through that long of a video. So that's the base feather. Now I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the rest of it, and then I will come back and echo along the bottom, and then I will do some filler around it to really make it pop out. Now we're gonna work on adding some detail around this flower. And I'm just gonna use the shape of the flower as my guide and I'm gonna echo around it. And I'm gonna add a few extra little feathery things and leaves and a few things just to embellish it a little bit more so it doesn't look quite so plain and to help fill some of this negative space. <laughs> Okay, so I've just done one pass around. Now I'm gonna start echoing around that and adding more of those details.
All right, now I'll show you what it looks like. So there you can see some of the feathers I've added around that and the echoing around the petals. Okay, now I'm gonna add a little flower detail in the background. So I'm gonna try to do this while holding the camera. We'll see how that turns out. So we'll start with petals and then I'll start echoing. going to continue working on filling in that background and you can see I just start with this base daisy so if you could do this simple daisy to start with then you can start adding embellishments like the little swirl in the middle or the echoing around the outside and then they eventually start looking like this and you can see that I'm just filling in a few of those random pieces here and there and then once I echo them with the background quilting that's when they're really going to pop out. But the reason I wanted to show you this is just, I mean, I think people see something that's more embellished and they think, oh, that's too fancy, that's too hard for me to do. But if you think about it in terms of it just being a simple daisy that you doodle around, it makes it a lot simpler. And I don't worry about every petal being the same or every petal being perfect. I want it to have kind of more of this whimsical style and therefore it doesn't require me to be perfect. So as you can see, I have my quilt done and I have the binding done. So I just thought I'd show you a quick shot of the finished pro product. Uh, you can see the feather in the border and how that filler just makes those um, feathers pop out. And I continued that filler on into the triangles. And I just did kind of a swirly meander going from block to block there. You can see the echoing around the flower. 
and those little daisies that kind of fill in the middle and again the feather up at the top. So I hope you enjoyed this process of watching how I decide what to quilt and how I do it. It really isn't as hard as it looks, so I'm hoping that you'll be willing to give these ideas a try. Thanks for watching.